reason you came to Queensland? We're here now. How are the nerves? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, Monday morning, still a, a lot to play out this week, but uh, it was an exciting game for the football club on the weekend, and barring um, the start of the game, it was um, it was a really enjoyable game to play. It's a hot footy. How's everyone pulled up? Pretty well. I haven't I haven't seen a lot of the boys yet um, this morning, but um, all reports after the game, everyone pulled up pretty well. Um, it was a reasonably hot contest, uh, as you'd expect in a preliminary final, Carlton. Um, really jumped us. They played a terrific brand of footy. They got some incredible players and um, yeah, we'll thrill to come out on top. The fact that you could bounce back after being mugged like that, that's got to give you a fair, a fair confidence you can sort of take on anything, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think that's the way we'll look at it. Um, you know, as I said, full credit to, to Carlton. They, they really jumped us at the start. Um, as you're all aware, they've got some incredible footballers, incredible players across their, their team and they, they really got a hold of us early and um, we we're, were able to steady and, and get back in the game and um, continue to, and finish in a good, a good winner. What, what do you think went wrong, so wrong in that first quarter and how do you make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, it, it's a tough one. We haven't reviewed the game yet. Um, as a group, it's, um, it's only Monday morning, so we'll probably have a look at it uh, later today or tomorrow. But um, I think, you know, most of all, you've got to give credit to them. Um, as I mentioned, they've got you know half a dozen superstar players that, that got on top of us early, and um, their midfield, they're, they're probably one of the best contested um, midfields in the competition, best centre square midfields in the comp. So um, they got on top early, and as I said, we're able to steady and, and get back in the game. How important was Eric's goal in that first quarter to settle some nerves? Yeah, it was an important goal. All the goals were really important for us, but um, you know you don't want to go into quarter time without a goal on the board. So um, that was good, um, and we were able to steady after that. But I thought probably the back end of that first quarter, we were playing some reasonable football without without kicking a lot of score. You played some absolutely massive games at the MCG, huge crowds. Some of your teammates were from the played in front of ninety thousand before. What, what's the advice you have going up against Collingwood in a crowd like that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's a fantastic opportunity. Collingwood, a very big and proud football club, and and for our side to get the opportunity in the last game of the year is um, is something they should be really proud of, um, and they deserve to enjoy the week. So first and foremost, we'll be enjoying the week, um, enjoying training, and then um, approaching it with a really positive mindset and just um, really excited for what what what's to come on Saturday afternoon. How bad does it get though? Like it, you know, that hundred thousand is it's a different ninety high nineties. It's different to. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic opportunity to play in front of big crowds. Um, you know, I've never played in a grand final, so it'll be a unique atmosphere. I imagine there'll be a lot of Collingwood supporters, a lot of Brisbane supporters, but just a lot of AFL supporters there. So, um, you know, terrific opportunity for us to play in front of um, the whole footy community, and we're, we're really excited about it. Joe, you came to Brisbane to get a fresh start and to now be in the grand final, probably realising that kind of dream will come to fruition on Saturday. What does it personally mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be at the Brisbane Lions and, and really enjoying my time here. It's um, uh, It's been a terrific um, move for me to come up here and I've really enjoyed the football club, the people within it. Uh, probably the most important thing about a football club is, is the people that have been before and the people that are here now and um, the legacy that we want to leave for the people that are coming in. So um, I'm really enjoying my time here. As I said, the club's um, in a fantastic position. They've been building um, really since Fags got here. The club was um, not in great shape then and... Um, you know, we look down six years on now and, and the club's in a really strong position. So, um, you know, we're hopeful of players that that continues for a long time. Could you speak to the impact of Fags on you and your time here, Joe? Look, Fags is a, a terrific leader for the football club, not only um, a coach of the playing group, but he's a, he's a real leader for the club and he's, um, he's brought this club forward from a, a position which wasn't a great one, which I think most... Um, AFL supporters would realise that um, the Lions went flying um, before he got here and, and he was able to really steady the ship for the football club and, and slowly build. It's taken, taken time. It's taken a lot of good people, not only him himself, but um, we find ourselves in a great position now. How did they convince you to come up here? What was the big lure given the club wasn't in great shape at the time? Oh, look, by the time I got here, the club uh, was showing a lot, of, um, a lot of promise. They played in some good final series. Uh, they recruited well and and drafted well, um, you know, my conversations with him, um, they feel like a long time ago now, but, um, you know, he was a really key driver in, in me making the decision to come up to Brisbane. What you got you over the line though, Joe? What sort of convinced you to come to Brisbane when you obviously had other options? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it does feel like a long time ago now. There, there was a lot of things that um, obviously fell into place that ended up me landing here. Um, there probably wasn't one factor, but... Um, you know, Fags was probably the sole driver of that. Uh, the main communicator to me and, 
um, you know, I own a lot for, for putting the faith in me to come up here and, um, you know, I, I'm really pleased with that decision, how it's played out and, um, you know, pleased to be enjoying my football. Are you playing the best footy of your career? What's your level of confidence, I guess, the continuity you've had the last couple of years in your body? Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying my football and, and that's why I play the game, um, is because I enjoy it and um, that's a really important factor for me and, you know, I feel like I've... I've um, found my position within the team and um, and am contributing in the way that the club wants me to. So, um, you know, I'm hopeful that, that continues for one more game and um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm pleased with the opportunity, but um, there is a lot of work to do um, before we get what we want. What is it about that record against Collingwood? You've, you've, I think you've won six in a row now and, and scored really freely as a forward group. What is it that makes you so comfortable when you come up against them? Uh, I don't think we're, we're ever comfortable coming up against uh, any team in the AFL. It's an incredibly even competition and um, you know, we've, we've had a few wins against the Pies, but uh, we've seen their football this year is, is incredible. They play with a lot of flair, a lot of freedom. Um, there's a reason they finished on top of the ladder. Um, they're a strong football club, but they play a strong brand of footy. So uh, we'll be preparing ourselves for them at their absolute best and, and looking forward to that challenge. You've got the possibility of them bottling the game up as they have in the last few? Uh, on a Monday morning, I haven't thought too much about um, how the game's going to play out or the style of game. Um, you know, first it'll be about reviewing the game um, just gone, seeing what we can learn from that and implement that into training and then as we get later into the week we'll probably start discussing um, strategy and tactics a bit deeper. Jordan probably had the game of his life uh, in that prelim. You've got a strong midfield. You, you're confident you can shut him and the rest of their midfielders down? Yeah, look, Jordan's an incredible footballer. Um, as I, I touched on before, that Colin would play with a lot of flair and freedom and he um, epitomises that. He's a great player to watch and um, you know, like a lot of their star players, we'll be looking to minimise their influence. But um, you know, we've got a terrific group, terrific brand of players that have played football together for a long time now. So um, we're looking forward to that challenge. There'll be some, some great one-on-one -on -one battles, some great duels as there is um, in every final series. But uh, we're hopeful as a collective uh, we can stick to what we know and stick to how we play. How's the dynamic of the forward line changed with um, the one less tall or jack out of the side? Um, yeah, we've had a reasonably consistent forward line throughout the year, uh, probably rolling a similar eight, maybe nine guys through there. Um, so we've had some good continuity, a lot of training, a lot of playing together. Um, our smalls are, are very good early, so at times they often play like big players and um, a couple of our taller players, uh, like Eric, are, are good at ground level. So uh, we think we've got a good mix up there, but um, it'll be how well we can work together and, and help each other out. But, um, Will be will dictate how we play the fourth group. Joe, you talked about the week and enjoying the week. One of the things that this club's done over the last couple of finals campaigns is business as usual. Try to keep it as normal week as possible. Can they? Can you guys handle the distractions of the week and the, the parades and all of the extra things that need to come this week and and still make it business as usual? Well, I think we've got to be really aware of um, how important this week is to so many people. Um, so we've got to play our part in that and really enjoy that. Um, this week is about the AFL fans as much as it is the players. Um, it's about the whole AFL community enjoying it and appreciating the two teams that have earned the right to play in the grand final and um, you know, really enjoying that week's atmosphere. And um, We'll be a part of that for sure, um, whilst keeping an eye on how we train and our meetings and all those things that give us the best chance to perform on the weekend. But um, we need to make sure that we, we give back to the people that um, support the AFL, support the game and, and love the game and, and we'll be doing that the best we can. We've also got a strong big Dapper clan back yeah. home. How many tickets have you uh, been asked to request and I guess how many of the family and friends will get along? Yeah, look, um, firstly very um, lucky to have such great family support and um, looking forward to a lot of them getting to the game. Uh, I think uh, a lot of them can go get their own tickets, Mitch. Um, so I'll look after a few, but um, I think my uncles and and Dad can um, go find their own tickets for the game. But um, no, nah, really excited to, to share the week with them. And um, as all our players do, they, they'll bring their families along to the ride. And um, those families put in an incredible amount of support to, to get the players here. And, and hopefully they have an enjoyable week. It's just like the little kid inside of you that used to you know, listen to your, your uncle's stories and, and, and dream of that moment as he, as he pictured himself right now. Yeah, I think our, our whole playing list probably has a bit of a sense of that. Um, you know, besides. Probably Connor, the only one that didn't grow up uh, wanting to win an AFL Premiership. Um, everyone, you know, dreams back to that little kid that started loving the game and, and to get the opportunity to play um, in the la last game of the year is fantastic. And um, hopefully, all our players can connect to that little kid that, that wanted to be out there.
mention your uncle. Your uncle's is, is there hope that Neil will be there on Saturday? He better be there. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think we'll find him a Brisbane scarf. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might be hard work to get it on him, but I think he, I think he'll get there. Um, it would be great to see him come along to the game. He's he's doing fantastic work, fantastic job, and um, he loves footy as much as anyone. Is that the sentiment, Joey, that this week you're kind of hoping that anyone that hates Collingwood gets on the, the Lions bandwagon? Because you, you do get great support in Victoria normally. Yeah, look, we, we've obviously got a proud history that, that lies in Victoria. Um, we've got a lot of supporters there. Our Fitzroy fan base are are incredible um, and we'll take any extra supporters that want to come along for the ride. Collingwood got a, such a fantastic supporter base, very passionate group, but um, for anyone that's not a fan of Collingwood, we'll, um, we'll find you a scarf and a beanie and, um, and come along for the Brisbane ride. Sure. Jay, we've been talking for 10 minutes now, we haven't even asked you about the MCG record. <laughs> is, that good, that. is that a good thing or is that...? Oh, look, I mean, there, there's so much to be concerned with this week and, and focused on. Um, for me, I don't think that'll, that'll play a big part in the planning. Um, you know, we're fully aware that the, the grand finals play at the MCG. We're very excited by that. It's a stadium that holds the most amount of people, so we can get the most amount of fans in there to enjoy the game. And um, as a playing group, we're pretty excited about that. Joe, you were in the Hall of Fame dinner um, a few weeks ago and listening to the 2003 team uh, talk about their experiences. Did you take much away from that evening as a player and as a playing group about what they spoke about that night? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're we're incredibly proud of um, our history that goes back even a lot further than um, 20 years ago. But, um, you know, to sit next to former players that have um, played in grand finals and done incredible things for this footy club um, was a great night for our playing group and um, a lot of lessons um, to be learned from that night and um, just, uh, most importantly, a lot of pride to be had in the football club. Pretty amazing that 20 years ago, Lions played Collingwood. Here we go again, there's a bit of synchronicity there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, uh, it's fantastic for the... The football tragics and the football lovers out there that you know these sort of stories come out at the end of the year and um, for us as a playing group uh, I'm sure there's a few of the older guys that have good memories of those games and um, plenty of our supporters that will that'll have fond memories there but um, obviously the teams are different the game's different um, but uh, yeah as I said fantastic opportunity for us.